Good morning, it's Miss Ann. Today is Wednesday, July 15th. We are going to learn how to draw a giraffe, uh, specifically a giraffe from the neck up. This is a photograph that I think I took or my husband took of four giraffes that we saw in Africa, I believe in Kenya. They live in Africa. Um, they're the tallest living animal um, on land. Uh, they're known for the really long legs and the really long necks. They eat um, the leaves and the flowers and the trees. Um, they, they roam in families. And they're known for these beautiful spots. Um, they're really pretty. They look like almost like do you, do you guys see do you see these spots? Let me see if I can get it closer. And those beautiful, they really are. And like horses, they have a mane uh, that runs alongside their neck of fur of hair that sticks up. So let's get started. Okay, there. Oh, this is a picture I was drawing. I was coming up with a book, and this is a picture of a giraffe eating an Oreo. I don't know if giraffes would eat Oreos. Um, let me see what else. I have some other pictures of giraffes I drew. Um, let's see. Oh, here's a giraffe listening to music. Um, of course, that's what a giraffe would be doing. Um, let's see. Here's a giraffe. Let's see. Looking up. Oh, this is stuck. This is a giraffe. Can you see that? Okay. This is a giraffe and um, an elephant. They, and they're both down. When a giraffe drinks water, when it looks down, it kind of spreads its legs far out. It's like a, it's pretty cool to see. So I'll try to find a picture of it. And there's a little bird there. So let's get started with our drawing. This is kind of what we're going to do today. Put this away. So um, we have some basic shapes. Um, kind of a sorry, kind of a square. Uh, we have some diamond shapes for the ears, and we've got some horns. Um, and uh, the giraffes have really pretty eyes. These beautiful eyes with eyelashes. They're just really pretty. And these really cool spots. Um, my spots aren't that cool, but we'll make better spots. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get a piece of paper. And what we're going to need today are, I'm going to put this over here so I can look at it. There. Uh, we're going to need a drawing pencil. Okay. And um, we're going to need probably brown for the spots and kind of a yellow. They're not really yellow, but they're kind of, I don't know, kind of weak color, but we're gonna make them yellow because we don't really have a color pencil that is that color. I'm gonna use this yellow. Okay, all right. So, I'm gonna make sure this is all in the picture, yep. Okay. okay, so we're gonna start kind of strange. We're gonna start with his nose and then work outwards. Um, his nose is a shape of, I mm, don't know, okay, um, so we're going to draw his nostrils first, so we're going to draw two circles. This is really light, I'm not going to use this pencil, it's too light, you won't be able to see it. Let's see if I've got a darker pencil. I had one. This is probably too dark, but, okay, we're going to draw, can you see that, is that better? Okay, so two nostrils, and they're ovals, aren't they? Like that. Have I got that? Alrighty. And then we are going to draw kind of something that goes around them, like a circular line, like a line that goes like that. How's that look? Does that look okay? So you can see that that is kind of his nose. And then we're going to draw the rest of his muscle. Remember what a muscle is on animals. It's his nose. It's the 
part that comes out of the head that's got the nose and um, his mouth. So let's draw his mouth. It's going to be just a nice, it's almost like a U-shape. Is that kind of a U-shape? And then we can add another line. Oh, this is gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna put him over there. Uh, we can draw another line because that's where it is. It's kind of smiling at us, isn't he? Okay. So now let's draw his head. His head is gonna go up straight. So the way we're gonna draw his head is we're gonna draw. Um, a line that goes like this and then comes down like that. How's that? And then we're going to do the exact same line, only going the other way. So we're going to start here and go like that. Okay? How's that look? Does that look okay? All right. Let's draw his horns. His horns. Um, or her horns, and there's a way to tell if there's a if it's a male or female. I forget. Um, I think it has to do with whether there's fuzzy hair on top of the horns. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna draw those horns. He's got two horns, or she has two horns, and they're covered with um, the same hair or fur, I should say. Now his ears are kind of big; they stick straight out. Um, so we're going to draw, and they're kind of, um, what kind of shape are they? They're kind of diamond shape. Like that. And they fold over, so we're going to make some folds. The way we're going to make folds is just like that. Like that. Okay. So, can we draw another one over here? And they don't have to be perfect. Let's make sure you can see this. Sometimes they, oh, yep. Okay. How's that look? Looks like he's gonna fly away. <laughs> I may have drawn those a little too big, but that's okay. Okay, so let's draw his, um, oh, and let's put some shading here. We could do that with our colored pencils though, or our crayons. Okay, so his eyes, or her eyes, we'll just call it a her, just to make a, kind of are right below his ears, or her ears. So let's make an eye shape like this. Okay, like that. That's like an almond shape eye. And then let's do another almond shape eye right here. Does that look okay? Um, there, okay. This might be a little higher. That, yes, it is a little higher. I don't know where my eraser is. I have this on my really nice eraser. I don't know what I did with it. Hmm. Let's see. I have a small erase. Let's see. Where's my other my eraser I love? Let's see. Went to a friend's house on Saturday to draw and I put everything in this bag. Here's my favorite eraser. Okay. Alright, so let's let's uh I'm gonna make this oh let's use this pencil that I'm using. It's really dark, so it's not gonna really erase it. So the way that go across, okay. Let's see, is that better? Does that look better? Yeah, I think that looks better. And then we're going to draw his neck. Now they have really thick necks. Um, so we're going to start his neck here. They had to be very thick. They had to be really strong because um, they're so long. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to draw this mane just like there. I don't know what it's called on a giraffe, but on a horse, it's called a mane. So let's do his eyes. So we're gonna draw his eyelid. We're just gonna draw a line that kind of mirrors, very similar to the this line. This is his upper. 
this upper lid. Okay, then we're gonna draw, what's this part of the eye called? The big part, the big circle? The outer circle, I should call it. That's called the iris. And then what's inside? What's this called? That's called the pupil, remember? And that's always the black part of the eye. And then this, the iris, is the colored part. So a few blue eyes, this is blue and this is black. A few brown eyes, this is brown and this is black. So let's color this in. Let's remember we always put a highlight. All right, and what's a highlight? It's just like a, a rectangle of white. So we're gonna just go around and make this black. We're just gonna use our, our drawing pencil for the black. How's that look? That look pretty good. Let's do the other one. There. Okay. So now I think we're ready for some color. So the way giraffes look is um, the, the horns are kind of brown, and then it's kind of brown going down to his nose. So we're going to draw like a really slight line like that. And we're going to make this whole area brown. I'm going to sharpen this pencil. And we're going to use the side of our pencil or the side of our crayon to get more. So we're just going to go back and forth real lightly. Like that. Kind of going out. That's so. That's okay. How's that look? Kind of looking flat. So let's make this a little darker to make these look more round. Does that look already better? Now that that's a little darker. Yeah, that looks better. It doesn't look as flat. Okay, now, let's make some spots. Okay, he's got some spots. Let's look at that picture I drew. I already lost it. I do. Here, let's see. Uh, where is that? Let me see. Okay, look at this one. I don't know if I showed you this one. This is the giraffe talking to a to an elephant with a bird in the middle. And you can see that there are spots on um, his face, but the majority of his spots are on his body and his neck. So let's just do a couple spots on his face. I'm making like what I call blobs. They're, um, they're not triangles, they're not circles. They're not rectangles, they're not squares, they're just blobs. Okay, they're kind of fun to make. All right, so let's pencil those in. How's that look? Does that look okay? Then we're gonna make the rest of this um, kind of yellow. So I wonder if we should do the yellow first. When we do his neck, we're going to do the yellow first, then we're going to add the spots. It, it will be easier. Okay. Then, okay, so let's get that yellow. What do I do with that yellow? Okay, so let's make sure it's nice and sharp. Hopefully you still have your pencil sharpener from when I gave this out way, like four months ago. Or no, it was longer than that. It was five months ago. So we're going to um, color this yellow. Like that. That's pretty, isn't that pretty? No, we should do. We should have him have something in his mouth. Ha <laughs> ha. Why don't we do that? Because they're they they eat a lot. Um, so let's add some. I'm just gonna draw a line like this. And then I'm going to add some leaves 
just what shape are the leaves? They're kind of oval or diamond shape, aren't they? Okay. Okay. So that's that looks better. Okay. So let's put some yellow on his head. But we're going to be real careful around his eye, right? We're not going to go over that with yellow. And then we're going to go over on this side. We want to make sure we do his color, um, his irises. What colors do you think um, giraffe eyes are? I'm guessing they're brown. Let's, we'll do that. Let's make that yellow. We're not going to go over the, the leaves. We're going to go around them. So we have to be kind of careful around this area. This area, we can just go back and forth. I love giraffes. I really do. When they walk, they're so gentle. They're graceful. They're almost like ballet dancers when they... They walk. There was a, because I find it. There was a video out there. Um, okay, I'm gonna do the mane. I'm making this brown. There's a video somewhere. Um, I, I'm gonna try to find it on YouTube and then I'll post it to Class Dojo. Uh, it was obviously fake. I mean, it was more of an animation, but boy, did it look real. Um, of these giraffes diving and doing these flips and stuff like that into a pool. So right now I'm making um, the blobs, as we call them. Because they, were, they weren't square, they weren't rectangles, they were just, they're almost circular but not quite. Let's see. I have a lot, don't I have a lot of them? Wow. Okay, so now we're gonna color them in. We're just going to use the side of our pencil because that's the easiest way, or the side of our crayon. How's that look? Is that good? I to take a break. I need a cup of tea. Oh, good. That was good. I have to have my tea in the morning. Good. Oh, getting sloppy. What happens? Okay. All right. So let's do this green. So let's get a green pencil, a pencil, or that. Okay. So I'm gonna make this green, this branch green. Then I'm gonna color all this in with green. We have the line, but that's okay. That's okay. background for this probably blue um, the Sun it's 
skies are beautiful in Africa, so I would say that the, the background would be blue, so we're just going to go back and forth. Like this. You know, I'm picking up everything. That's not really very neat, is it? Oh, man. I don't know if the crane would do a better job. So, this is pretty easy to do the background because his neck is nice and long, so there's not a lot of detail that we have to be careful around, is there? But we want to make sure we don't get his color the background over his um, ears. Let me make sure you can see this. Yep. So what I do when I do a background is I kind of go up to the edge, and I'm very careful around the edge. All right. Makes it pop, doesn't it? Make a pop when it was, when it was on um, just white paper, it didn't really stick out. But now that it's on blue, the blue background, it kind of makes it pop out, and it's all about the pop. getting warm. This is the warmest room in my house. So, oh, there's something under there. Okay, let's do this. This is way to be real careful right here. go over the green, do we? Does that look? Does that look good? I said, oh yeah, I like that. That looks great. <laughs> All right, so I think tomorrow um, we're going to do another African animals. I love African animals. Um, they're fun to draw. So we've done some already um, since I started making these videos, but I've kept track of everything we've done, so um, we won't repeat. Um, so we'll do... Um, I don't know what we'll do. I'll do uh, we may do, I don't know if we did an elephant. I don't know if we did a lion. Hmm. I'm not sure. We'll either do an elephant, a lion, or maybe a rhinoceros. Hmm. Those are interesting. So I want to tell you that um, I get help with these videos from some, there's a lot of stuff on the internet that you could look up on how to draw animals. Um, and it's step by step, and it's great for uh, kid resources. Um, so if you're, you know, if you don't want to watch these videos, you can also use these um, things on the internet. And they're not videos. Well, there are a lot of videos, but um, what I'm doing, they're just like these little worksheets on how to draw different animals. And this was from what's it called? Art projects for kids. So let me write that down so you have it. Um, so it's www. 
art projects for kids dot o r g this is a great resource um, for you it's got all sorts of different things on how to draw um, or you could watch my videos as a lot of times i get my own ideas on how to draw things but sometimes um, i need a little bit of help so i want to give credit where credit is due so we're going to just kind of go in there make it look a little more um, less flat does that look better? Looks more. Ooh. Let's make this a little more. Like that. I like that. Makes you want to go to Africa. Okay, so I hope you guys have a good day. I hope um, it's not too hot today. Um, and you get a chance to go outside and play. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.